Hi everyone, so I'm trying to back, get back into the game here uh, with making tutorials because it's been like uh, like a year since I've, I've made a tutorial and I've, uh, I've seen a lot of people uh, asking for tutorials and, and uh, I do have a lot of ideas so I think there's uh, nothing better to just to get back into it and, and try to see what, uh, what, what, what I can come up with, right? So uh, if you want to follow along with this tutorial, I put um, the project file in the video description. There's no uh, wall or nothing. You can download it directly. So if you do appreciate that, uh, please uh, like and maybe share this video because uh, it's very useful. Also, consider subscribing, of course, if you want. So let's get get into this right so for this uh, tutorial i thought of um, kind of a tip uh, physics uh, uh, constraint tip it's how to stabilize uh, multiple physics constraints that are chained together right so for this i've taken uh, just a simple to um, a simple example with a punching bag it's with a stand like this right and we have this and we also have um, ropes and we'll see how we can stabilize those two right because we see we have a rope right here that doesn't actually keep stable and we see how we can fix that right so let's go into this one and so i'll show you i have two setups here one of them is a, a stiff setup that shouldn't actually be flexible at all and the other one is a soft one that is stable so as you can see this one is actually flexible also and we'll see why right so let's just get into this right so this you'll find also in the in the project file there right so there's no need to create it um, right so what we've done here is just uh, four objects right we have a base we have a some pipes and then we have a head right so uh, now the tricky part here is the masses of these objects right so if you have the, the mass right here has a hundred kilos and then we have the pipes which are like two kilos and then the head is a hundred kilos so if you've uh, watched already my tutorial on how to um how to balance masses to to stabilize physics then you'll know that this is already a problem here right so the problem is that the the the, the mass that is bigger it will push on the, the smaller masses right with a bigger force and will actually um not break the physics constraint but like uh they will not hold exactly how it should right let me see here because I've added already this one. Um, so let's see what setup we have here. So we have base and these pipes, right? So like four pieces and then three physics constraint, right? These and these. Okay. So now what I've done is this is actually the tip. This is really that simple. You just add physics constraint between the first object and the, the, the last one, right? So uh, let's disable this one and see how it goes, right? So I'll just put here like that and it just disables it because it doesn't know the, the correct name, right? So the stiff um, punching bag is this one, right? So if we do this, as we can see, it looks good, right? but we actually modified the soft one. Sorry about that. Just open the stiff one. Let's go and do the same thing. So let's disable these, right? It's actually the same setup, right? It's just that the physics constraints here are locked, right? Everything is locked. So now, as you can see, there is a problem, right? So what happens, uh, as I've explained this in the in the other tutorial about the masses, is that the bigger mass it just pushes on the small masses that you have right here, right? And just two kilos, right? And this is a hundred kilos, so it pushes, and actually the physics constraint give, gives way, right? So we cannot hold the position. Um, but let's so let's change this to a hundred just to 
so you ha understand right so they have the same ratio of masses right now so if we do this uh, that's weird uh, let's see about that let's see what happens here do some debugging what's happening there's still one that has two right that's the problem right so if we go back again uh, execute you can see it's almost already like stiff, right? So it's as it should be. There's some elasticity, but that's okay, I guess, right? So now I guess this is fine, right? But the problem is that we we cannot put 100 kilos, for example, for each of these, right? Because it will make like the whole thing it will make like 400 kilos. So something more. Uh, more realistic would be something like two kilos, right? So uh, it doesn't want to do this at the same time. That's no problem. So we have two and two, right? So if you go back and execute again, let's get this out of the way a bit, right? Oh, sorry about that. So as you can see, this is really messed up, right? It's messed up because the, the center of mass and everything is just it's like two it's in two places and it just doesn't know how to deal with it really well right so the tip that I had just very simple you have another physics constraint right here and that links the the, the body to the head right so um, uh, sorry the base to the head right so if we uh, ex uh, uh, activate this one by just simply changing what was that it was here right component names we just put them like this right now it's active so if we can go there then leave that locked if we execute now well as we can see it's quite stubborn right now, except if we pull from these from the middle, right? Because if we pull from these, then we pull from the weak ones, right? But if we pull from these ones, then they're pretty stable, right? So what happens here is that you make the the link of the masses between directly between this one and this one, and they just uh, it doesn't pass through these lower masses, so it doesn't lose force by scaling back right so that's that's it that's, that's just so simple right so and i've also made here an, an example with the uh, soft bag right and i'll, I'll see uh, so it's the same thing like except that for the physics constraints here if we look how i've implemented it that uh, so we don't if we look at this if it goes like that it don't care too much about the position right we care the most about the angular because it's rotation like that right so if you look here i put a big really big force right so it's the same same masses here 102 and if we go ahead this is disabled right so if you go ahead and execute this one as you see it's very just it's very wobbly and doesn't doesn't stay up right right and if you look and you say okay but no problem let's go ahead in here and we used what we used some motor right but let's just put the strength up like well okay it's already up like 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 a million or a hundred million or something so it's just you cannot go any further right so even if you get the strength up of that you just don't do anything right so this is where the this physics constraint comes in and what it does it's the same thing you you put this and let's activate it i just put here like this right so it connects the base to the head, right? The first and the second, the last one. And we just put a hundred to this one, right? So it's sufficient for what we need. 
So let's see. That's already... Sorry, get out of the way, right? So I have a right click, I can poke this one and I apply some force. So as you can see, it's quite... I think it's quite uh, nice. It's quite acceptable. You can put that... You can go a bit higher here. You can add like 10,000 or something like that and it will become stiff, right? Sorry about that. So it's already more stiff, as you can see. Yeah. It actually approaches this one, right? So yeah, that's it. It's just that simple, right? So in any chain that you have, and when you have, when you want to constrain the the, the, the position of some force, uh, some objects to not go further than, I don't know, some distance or something like that, you just put physics constraint, right? And there's also uh, okay. So uh, let's look at this one. Let's go to another example, which is these ropes, right? So this ropes, if you want, I'll put a link in the video description with the 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 tutorials where I've done this, so you can go ahead and do that. If not, then you have these these uh, assets in the project file there in the video description, right? So if we go ahead here and execute, sorry, let's just move this one, I don't. Let's just put it here, right? Okay, so what we see here, if we had this one, this is like a one ton, uh, thousand kilo uh, weight, right? So as you can see, this is quite stable. But this one happens something with it. Now, uh, what I've done here, if you look, into this so you have this one and it's rope this one right so if you so this is uh, quite a big uh, rope i would say it's like 30 segment that's a lot right so each of the segments have physics constraint between them right so what i've done here in order for this to hold one ton is i've put like 20 kilos right so if you watch the tutorial on, on on scaling masses you know this is this is good and, and it will just uh, it will hold this right so if you put this to like two kilos and it will just simply pass through you can experiment with that on your own so what i've done is where well, i experimented with masses i've put like a special kind of uh, uh let's see this uh edit rope can we go no no it's not like that so it's actually the tweet masses, right? This one. So you, if you open the physics masses, ma, mass, uh, assets, right? You see, I've tried, uh, just to experiment, I've tried uh, giving different masses. So it goes to a small masses in the middle and then goes to a big masses to go further away, right? So it just doesn't matter, for example, I'm just showing you that this is actually vulnerable because there are small masses. So as you can see, that's that's not that's not good, right? So what we would want to have is just let it elongate for like like here maybe and then stop so it doesn't become unstable, right? If we have a character which is dangling from it, you don't want to leave it fall to the ground, right? And right. So let's so same thing we'll add a physics constraint and i think we add it here no it's not added so if we want to add it we'll add it be between the bone 01 and bone 30 but you can also do physics constraint between like uh, half of this and i don't know just a third or something like that so whatever you want right but we just add it between the 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 ends right here so if we go here, right click, physics constraints, and then you have create new constraint with bone 30, right? So as you can see, if we go to bone 01, then now it has three. It's because it connects to the other one and it has another one. Wait. Okay, so I think I created this one already, right? But that's how you create it. So it doesn't matter. I just erase this one. So we have one right here so what we want to do is actually say okay let's see where the physics constraint is right it's here so it's between this this bone and this bone right 
So we want to say, okay, we don't want it to go further than, so this is a three meter rope. So we don't want to go further than three meters, right? So if we go to here, we'll go to limited. So we'll limit to 300, which is, which is three meters, right? So stiffness, that's okay. Now, let me see. Okay, so I haven't, that's not good. Let me just erase this one. So I want to give you the example from, from zero, from start. So physics constraint, create one with 30, that's it. We have this here, right? So it's between this one and then this one. Okay, that's good. So now we say, okay, so the physics constraint is here between this bone and this bone. So we say, okay, so this bone, we want it to be, want to limit the movement from this, around this, with the three meters, right? So we, we go here and say three meters, that's 300 centimeters. Let's just say soft constraint, like 50, right? Doesn't matter. This will leave to free because we don't actually want any limitation. It's only a radius thing, not a rotation, because the the rope can just coil up, right? So that's we there's no rule we can put here. That will work. Okay. So now we we'll say okay. As you can see here, that will mean that this should go from here to here, no problem, right? So let's do that. So let's execute and it doesn't work. Now, why is that? Well, okay, so now the problem with this is that uh, what happens is although the, the physics constraints uh, has their origin here and the object, you would say, okay, the, the object moves like this, right? But it's from this reference point, right? So what we need to do is actually modify the, these uh, reference points uh, it's actually the, the, the reference frame um, and I'll actually do a tutorial on this uh, uh, I'll make sure to do a tutorial on this uh, specifically because it's it must be as it I think so what we need to do is like make as if the bones are in the same place right so then when we actually have this drawn, right? So the bone, it will start, uh, it will be mobile around this location, right? Not this actually, right? So for that, we just take the physics constraint and we say zero. So that would mean the reference point of the physics constraint for the first bone is zero. It's like, is the physics constraint exactly in the same point? And that this one will put zero also. So it's kind of hard to understand, but this is like you would bring the bones and the physical constraint in the same point by make this zero, right? So now it shows right here. I don't know exactly why, but I think it's the last one you modified. That's what it posed. But this is like all of these are on the same point, right? So now uh, we have this limit and now it should be working right so let's see even if it shows like this this should be here and this one should be able to move around right so let's see so as you can see it works right so it just just very so of course we can still destabilize it but it, when it goes back it actually well, actually I, I think we should put more force but Anyway, you get, you get the idea, right? So if we go back and let's say we put this to free, just to deactivate it, right there, go back. So you can see, destabilizing, right? So let's put it back here to limited, right? Okay, so now of course you can play around with this. You can put it uh, bigger, right, just to make sure it doesn't stabilize, right. So again, what this does is it puts in in uh, relation the first mass with the second mass and doesn't pass through all of these, right. So it connects really easily between the two points uh, without uh, losing force, let's say. 
so here I would suggest because uh, because the rope is a bit flexible, what it does it gives away uh, under its own weight. So as you can see, it just piles up a bit. So what I would suggest is just put a bit more here, like something like that. So give give it a bit more space, right? So now, as you can see, it doesn't it doesn't coil up, right? And you can actually take it from here, as you can see. Right now, as you can see, it still has problems. That because when we go like this, the whole, the whole, um, uh, this elongates actually. And even if, and that's very important, even if this stays three meters, if the rope goes like that and meets like ten meters or something, that's still a problem. It will still uh, become unstable like this. So what you could do. Is I won't do it here, but you can do uh, like take the this bone and this bone and put another physics constraint and this one and this one something like that, right? So you can put as many as you want, but it will take resources. So try not to do it too much, right? But I mean, it's if you, this is very important in your game, then then go ahead and do it, right? And it will become a lot more stable, right? So yeah, I guess that's it. So. Yeah, again, you can find this in in the video description in a, in the file, and um, yeah, I guess that's it. Don't forget to 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 like and 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 share this video. It means a lot for me. So I hope I'll I'll get back into the game and and make more uh, tutorials. I have some cool stuff uh, I think coming. Uh, there's something that I'm trying uh, right now with. Um, with actually with penetration, something like a, like an arrow, how to stick an arrow in the wall, or so how to uh, do some implement, some throwing knife or something like that. So yeah, I'm I'm really I'm really um, really psyched about that, and really want to show you guys uh, some more cool stuff, right? And I mean physics is really really fun, right? So yeah, thanks a lot, and and see you in the next one. Bye bye.